Hello and welcome to Emmanuel Celebrate Aging. And oh, have we got something wonderful coming up in June. And we are inviting you and we want you to bring your family and your friends and come for a wonderful afternoon on Thursday. Let me get my fingers out of the way so you can see it all. Thursday, June the 18th. It's going to start at 2 in the afternoon. Hey, get your nap out of the way. What do you think about that? And it's going to be till 6. And it's Art for the Ages. We are having a wonderful display, and we are having uh, different activities as well throughout the afternoon. And we're going to let Sandy tell you all about it. Sandy Lee is kind of in charge, putting it together and getting it all orchestrated. But it's going to be so fun. It will be in Emmanuel's Forest Conference Center. And that's the new part that we built. If you are familiar with Emmanuel, come on in by the chapel and we'll have signs that will lead you uh, right over to that Forest Conference Center. So we'll have something going on all the time and we'll have food. And that's always a draw, isn't it? So Art for the Ages, that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to introduce some people to you and show you some fancy artwork that is going to be available that day, but it's Thursday. June the 18th, I hope you're writing this down, get yourself a pen or pencil, circle it on your calendar, 2 o'clock till 6. And you don't have to come for all four hours, you can come for part or all, you're going to have a good time, you're going to want to stay. But it's at the Forest Conference Center at Emanuel. And now we'll have Sandy Lee tell you all about it. Hi, I'm Sandy Leah, and along with the Art for the Ages Committee here at Emanuel Community, we have been putting together our upcoming art event. And I would like to tell you a little bit about um, a couple of our artists that we'll be featuring at the event. Uh, one who is Linda Dobert, and I know a lot of people in Detroit like Snow Linda. And I happen to have one of her um, pieces of work right here to my left, to your right. And Linda will again this year be involved in the art event. She will, um, we have asked area artists to donate a piece of their work. Um, perhaps not an original, but maybe a copy. And then we have a silent art auction only at our annual art event. And um, this is also a little bit of a fundraiser. Uh, the money that we make is, is actually quite minimal. However, every little bit helps and we are able to purchase things to enhance services of our residents. Um, another thing that Linda Dober will be doing at our upcoming event is she will be having a workshop making little envelopes like this out of just magazines, um, ripping out a magazine picture or um, maybe a picture that you have found um, that's like an eight and a half by 11 size and you can make a homemade envelope and uh, if Carrie can um, focus in on that you'll be able to see that a little bit better. And um, along with the area artists um, being able to showcase their artwork, we invite the community, all ages, to come in and um, particularly be able to look at the artwork, which we have artwork throughout our corridor um, now that you'll be able to look at yourself from the high school and also from the junior high. They have donated pieces for display, and our residents also are gathering with the glass lady, who is an artist in our area, and they are making stained glass windows. And um, the high school has donated some pieces. So basically why we do this is we want you to come in, come to Emanuel, enjoy uh, the Emanuel Nursing Home and our whole entire campus and come to the Forest Conference Center and enjoy looking at the art pieces. And it really is a lot of fun. And along with just being able to, to enjoy looking at the pieces, we have a, a reception from four to six, and we are having lots of great hors d'oeuvres um, put together by our dietary staff. We also have music by Joan Covington of the FM Symphony Orchestra and her accompanist, Russ, and they will be here. She's playing classical violin. And um, we have the workshop, as I said, and it's, it's going to be a fabulous event. So we want you to come in and mainly just come and enjoy this. And if you happen to see a piece you would like to 
bid on at our silent auction, that's great too. But um, mainly it's for the enjoyment um, for our staff, residents, families, and all of you in the community. And uh, I have a few other pieces here by Joanne Knapp today and a Native American piece which, which I think is, is really nice to be able to showcase our Native American work as we have a lot of Native Americans in our area. And then some of our staff, their families and friends do some really cool artwork, glass work and so on and so forth. And you can watch in the local newspaper. Um, you'll see an ad that's either going to look like this or this. And Dave Oney and I haven't quite decided, but um, and our local radio stations will be updating you and keeping you informed. And if you have any questions, call myself at 844-8340. And we're still looking for artists, so please come and join us. And now I would like to introduce one of our artists that we'll be featuring at our event. Coming up, Mary Lobbs. We have Mary here, Mary Lobbs from Detroit Lakes, and she is a fabulous artist. I'm sure a lot of you know Mary, and, and she was recently at the Art um, Street Fair. And uh, Mary does caricatures, and in fact, I've, she's done caricatures for staff at Emanuel. And we will be featuring Mary at the art event. We will be having Mary um, do caricatures from 2 until 5, at a cost, a minimal fee of $5 per head. So, and I'll let her explain that to you a little bit and tell you all about the caricatures. Hi, thanks Sandy. Um, if you've never had a caricature done before, basically they're just nice, gentle, cartoon likenesses of yourself. I work from both photos and from life. So you can come down, you can surprise somebody by bringing a photo along with. I'll be drawing them in black and white today um, on the, from two to five, correct, Sandy? Yes, two I'll, to five. Yes, yep. I'll be here drawing. Two to five. Um, and I notice you have Elvis and, let's see. Tiger. Oh, cool, okay. And David Letterman here. Alrighty, so you can see a little bit about what the caricatures look like. And um, now, how long does it take you typically to draw like one, like if I sat down and... It drew... only takes about four to five, six, maybe six minutes to have a caricature drawn. Okay. I can draw groupings if you like or individuals. Um, it's, it's a very easy thing to do. It's all people need to do is to have a seat and sit down and look in my direction and we'll get you sketched up. Okay, and then if they prefer not to sit there and do it or don't have time or they want a gift for family, maybe they want their pet. Um, can they bring their pet in? I suppose. We're pet friendly here. So. Well, although to draw pet Sandy, oh, okay. I prefer to work from photos okay. because they have a little trouble focusing in on okay. the direction that I want them to look okay, at. Where, sure. where, uh, small children, I'm very good at small children. Toddlers, okay. I draw a lot of those age okay. groups too, so don't worry about them wiggling too okay. much because they'll uh, be very good. Okay, but otherwise you can bring a picture. It's a minimal, uh, very reduced rate of $5 per yes, caricature. Yes, that is and half so. the price of normal. So, And all this goes as a fundraiser too so okay so that sounds fabulous and um, I'll for sure have Andy Leah come in and get a caricature of him for his for his office out there at KDLM so Thank you. yes and um, so come on down for the art event June 18th from 2 to 6 meet the artists from 4 to 6 it's going to be a fabulous event in our community and we hope you all can can make it over it'll Thank be a you. lot of fun okay great thanks Mary